Good morning. Welcome to Morning Reviews. This is Kim speaking on Friday the 9th of September. So looking at the euro dollar first and well, yesterday we, we peaked up uh, leading uh, into the speech uh, by Draghi at 1.30. It's peaked, it peaked up, uh, found some resistance, got overbought on the alleys and uh, pretty much rolled over. Um, it's since then, looking from the alley perspective, well, it's recovered from uh, part of that. It's holding into the pivot. Is it, I mean, I, it was over overbought on the on the um, on the four alleys here, which coming back towards its 21. Well, it's probably sorted that out now. So, and looking at the dailies, it's erring sort of sort of bullish. Okay, put a big shooting star in yesterday, but uh, well, I'm I'm open <laughs> open to open to what it's going to show us today um, with the price action. Um, a break of this a trend that's running up here and through I'd rather see it through its 6021s and then maybe um, it's got chance of further downside it's broken that 6050 already well did it close below it pull back will it test it again and bounce well as a possibility any problem of course with the euro is it, it's it's not giving away massive points we're sort of looking at only 15 pips down to that area but then if we're looking at targets where we could be looking for Wednesday's lows there around about 46 below, pips below where we are um, or the uh, S1 there around about 50 but if we break the 50 well then there's a, a, a quite a void yes there's yesterday's afternoon lows but the absolute lows are a bit further down so breaking that 50 may be um, a good enough sort of trigger to be looking at the euro cable well cables uh, struggling a little bit here it's uh, it sold off yesterday um, again and uh, did eventually I mean it's, it's worked off its over overbought position which was on the four alleys again it went through its 21 so it's uh, certainly worked that sort of uh, period off but it's in this period of uh, lower highs here and I'm just gonna just drag this uh, trend down here it's lower highs and it does look a bit bearish at the moment again um, so at the moment um, I've got to be looking at the bearish side of it although bigger picture I'm waiting for it to break this trend line and uh, continue its route from a daily perspective it's a it's a bull flag effectively um, four alleys well it may just want that four alley 50 so there's there's um, potential for it if, if it starts to continue down the four alley 50 uh, maybe uh, will sort it out and if it breaks that well then it's certainly into more more of a downward trend but at the moment um short term bearish um to the 50 then review the situation if it bounces well i, I look at the, the bullet the, the ball flag effectively i'm looking for that and really that ball flag that trend line that i've drawn on here is is the key point so if it was to start rallying this morning and pushing up towards that level well then um, it would be uh, well a break of that would, be, would see me being bullish and looking for bullish setups. Dolly yen. Now I would say up until this point, as we've already gone through the euro and the pound, there's no euro or pound significant news, and there's some very significant data coming out for Europe and uh, but to, and the euro group meeting start today. That may create a bit of volatility um, as speakers come out and uh, chittle chattel. Um, but um, so finance ministers, etc. So there's a possibility, and there's possibly more Brexit trick or whatever else coming out so could get some kickers from that I guess but in the main the only data coming out is for the uh, Canadian dollar that I'm interested in right okay so um, looking at the yen uh, it uh, took a bit of a bounce yesterday um, we saw some uh, obviously dollar strength coming through at some points and it's looking like it's uh, got the chance to uh, push on at the moment it's already uh, it's put lower highs in it's uh it's let's say looking erring on the short term of these lower highs that have come through okay not massively significant in terms of the move but uh enough maybe to see us uh pushing back up towards daily r1 as a possibility certainly yesterday's highs so bullish yen aussie dollar 
Well, it ran up. It couldn't. It couldn't get any further. It ran into some resistance off the lower time frames, and never made its R3, which was uh, something I was looking at for the, the weekly R3, but just never got there. Uh, ran into some resistance up here. It took a long time, then rolled over with the other pairs. And then chopped along now. Now we've got the daily pivot untouched below, above us, so that's a potential. But at the moment, it's broken the lows here, and it looks like it's drifting off towards sort of S1 territory. Um, I've been bearish on the Aussie dollar for a long, long time, and it's uh, obviously last week or so, it's, it's really pushed up there. It's, st it's staggered and slowed now, and maybe we'll, we'll just run back into, into the sort of... Uh, 75.50 towards that eventually so it's uh erring towards um to me to be bearish side again and i'm leaning on the bearish side at the moment would prefer the daily pivot out of the way of course okay the canadian dollar before i do that is just check on the price of oil and the price of oil has been rising so uh up until well, this morning when it's uh coming off a bit this morning it has got overbought uh, on the four uh four alley perspective so Maybe, um, just looking at where we are in oil, maybe it just wants to come off. It's uh, pu pulling back to its uh, daily pivot there. It may just want to come back and have a big, bit more of a correction, but there's a lot of positive expectation. Iran and every, uh, everyone else joining into the potential rhetoric of uh, agreeing quotas again almost. So um, we could end up with... Uh, oil price continuing to rise which would generally bring the canadian dollar down but uh, it's a uh, more us dollar strength i think that's pushed through here and we're seeing a continuation in this move to the upside um, which is uh, is unusual but uh, when we get these unusual periods if we get anything that's good all of a sudden we get uh, a decent move in the, in the opposite direction all of a sudden a bigger correction but for now um, and the data that we're seeing here well it's missed its daily pivot at the moment shoving up higher lows higher highs it's really looking more bullish than anything else and this is really dollar strength coming through if that uh, shuts off at any period as i said i'd be looking at reversals now this could just run straight up to its r1 area at the moment but uh, I'll, I'll be watching because it, with oil having pushed up so well, I would have been, I'm surprised that the Canadian dollar hasn't been a bit more um, robust against the US dollar, but uh, just goes to show. Now we have got uh, the employment figures out later on. Um, we could see um, some good volatility around those. We often see quite a reasonable move. So that in itself may give some great volatility. Right, that's it for me. Um, nothing else to mention. Have a great day. Bye.